Hello there. Uh, this is my first time that I'm doing a vlog, so uh, I'm not really ready or experienced with this, so uh, I made a little note with things I'm about to talk about, so I don't forget to talk about anything. Okay, first off, before we even start this thing, I want to say that uh, Digimon Frontier is in the making. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, my life lately has been a little chaotic. I've been feeling a little bit depressed, and that's why I I couldn't really work on it. I didn't feel like it, so I'm sorry. It's gonna be released one day. It just may take a while. But anyways, I... I finally saw the big Yu-Gi-Oh! movie, the big uh, collab, uh, team-up of all the heroes. Finally I saw it, and I wanted to right away, right after I saw it, go here into my father's workshop and record me talking about it. Well, uh, I really was curious to see this movie because I saw the big finale of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds and some things about Paradox, the main villain of this movie, were unclear to me. And I wanted to find out what the deal with him is, uh, or something. Uh, and, yeah, I saw it. Uh, to my surprise, it was under an hour long, so it was rather short. A lot of people complained about the movie because you say the hero of 5Ds was the main character here. But, as you know, I love 5Ds, so I didn't mind it at all. Actually, it showed an interesting contrast to the other protagonists. Sure, little Yugi is the sad little boy, but Yami Yugi is the bland, heroic Superman. Jaden is a retarded dumbass who I hate, but you say he's really cool. And I don't mean that he's... He's got a cool attitude, or he's emotionless. It, not at all. But actually, you can see a contrast. While the other heroes are all fierce in the duel, and are actually having fun with this, you say at one point really ask, asks, uh, are these guys really enjoying this? A duel for life and death? I really like that. I really like that. Uh, well, uh, about the villain, Paradox. I actually watched this movie to find out more about him. I thought I would learn some secrets, who he really is, da, 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 but I found out nothing. People told me on the internet, yeah, I, right after the movie, before I went here, I went to Google and found out that 5Ds explains all. And it explains barely anything. So. <laughs> So, Paradox isn't really that much of a character, sadly. And that's disappointing. Also, there's a lot of scenes in the movie that uh, don't show up. I mean, the movie is under an hour long, and yet we don't see any other characters besides, besides the 5D ones. We don't see how Paradox stole those other cards, we don't see anything. And also, it confuses me how Paradox wants to kill Pegasus after he released the game. I mean, if he did that when he was creating the game, then that would totally erase Duel Monsters out of history. It wouldn't just... Uh, oh wait, did I even talk about the story of this movie? Oh boy. Uh, oh god. One moment. Okay, whatever, never mind. Uh, so, what basically did I tell? I said that... Uh, I don't mind that you say was the main character. Uh, oh yeah, Paradox. Oh wait, or did I talk about that? Well, anyways, it's pretty much a letdown. Apparently, all we got to find out about him was in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds already. Uh, a lot of scenes is uh, not even shown in the movie, so you might question how uh, how the hell Paradox got, got all his cards. Uh, 
you never find out. But one thing I want to mention is uh, I find I find it cheesy how the characters act. Uh, look, I know those are the duelists, and I already said that you say is kind of better in that he shows a bit more various emotions and all this. Uh, or he's just serious about saving the world, uh, hard to tell. But uh, the three duelists become friends, like, instantly. It really comes off as weird. Uh, and every time one of them gets hit and falls on the ground, the others are like, Are you okay? And uh, many scenes just are played out as, uh, Oh, every character has to say a line. Everyone has to say something to this, to what's happening right now. And this is really cheesy. But... I just keep thinking of Nostalgia Critic showing up in the middle of a scene and saying, Oh, would you just propose to him already? Really, they have these shining, sparkling eyes with the white bits just shaking as if they were little puppies crying, trying to show emotion. It's really, really cheesy. So, uh, all that I've mentioned uh, are basically flaws. The story doesn't even really make sense. Uh, I mean, I don't get how the destruction of dual monsters uh, is supposed to ruin the whole world. I also don't get that uh, how that ties up with the evil plans of the villains from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. That also confuses me. And really, they could come up with a simple answer to those questions and just, just say it, but no, they don't. They really wanted to keep this movie under an hour. But regardless, I mean, the, at first I was all negative, but like, when Yusei and Jaden show up, and I'm like, holy shit, they're already partners. Uh, they're already to in this together, and so early. Like, uh, holy shit, I'm 70 minutes into the movie. 25% are over already. How did that, that time fly by so fast? I guess I was having fun. And, yeah, that's my final point. It may seem like a really bad movie, but it's not really. I mean, only fans of Yu-Gi-Oh! are going to enjoy it, obviously. But I think it still was kind of good. It, it was okay. I, uh, I'm sure some people will bash me for this. I mean... This is obviously the most bland and boring piece of epic shit ever, but it's still kind of... It was still kind of enjoyable. I don't know if I'll ever rewatch this. But anyways, I'm wrapping up this vlog. I guess it, it went on for far too long. Maybe I'll upload a shorter version pretty soon. I 